Welcome back to Belifo Park and welcome to episode 5 of our weekly review show here on our YouTube channel. A shorter episode again this week with just the one fixture for the first team after a postponement and that was here last Saturday as they took on Chesham United. It was a dream start for Truro who took the lead inside just three minutes. Josh Barnes picked up the onrushing Rocky Neal who finished low into the bottom corner to open the scoring. Yashin Ben Almani then saw a free kick go over the bar for the visitors. Truro were then awarded a penalty as Neil was fouled in the area. Tyler Harvey stepped up and sent Sam Besant the wrong way to double City's lead before the break. The White Tigers managed to make it 3-0 on the hour mark. Ryan Brett's free kick was only half cleared out to Shane White, who picked out Neil at the back post, who headed home his second of the game. It was 4-0 soon after. Tyler Harvey superbly finished into the far corner, past a helpless peasant in the Chesham goal. The visitors did get a consolation goal for a great strike from Bradley Clayton, but ultimately the Davis Truros as they claimed all three points. So a brilliant win for Paul Watt on his side there on Saturday after a 4-1 victory over Chesham United here at Belifo Park. The first win for the White Tigers in the league here, so a bit of a monkey off their back there. And we now hear from fullback Conor Riley Lowe, who spoke after the game. So, Conor Riley Lowe, 4-1 uh, win over Chesham, the life of part, first win here in the league. How important was that result? Yeah, it was really important. Um, well, like you said, it's our first win here. So, um, yeah, it was a really big win for us. I thought we played really well today. Deserved the three points. So, yeah, we go on to Tuesday. It's been, it's been a tough start for us, obviously. But how, like, the results, obviously, how important was it to score early? Because that's been our problem, not really taking our chances in game. Yeah, we were just saying then, actually, you know, I think today we didn't actually play a load better than what we have recently um, but it was just all about scoring goals and being clinical um, you know it's typical goals change games and we scored um, makes you a little bit more comfortable um, you know in terms of how we've played recently you know you've heard the gaffer say we haven't been playing bad it's just been just adding that little bit to our game and today we had that and the, you said the early goal like, settled the nerves a little bit did you think did you, did you think you could really kick on from there because because obviously we had the chance uh, when we were last here Beckinsfield we missed the penalty and almost like yeah confidence sort of went down a little bit yeah Grew from that. It did definitely. You know, we, one thing that we've been guilty of is scoring but not punishing. You know, when we were on top, I thought, you know, first half, I thought we really dominated and we got the two goals, which was important. You know, we could have quite easily dominated and gone in at nil nil and then suddenly it's a different game second half. Um, but, you know, we dominated and then that meant that meant second half we can come out, we can be a little bit more cautious. <laughs> got me fine. Yeah, second half we come out, we can be a little bit more cautious and play on the counter attack. And, um, yeah, that's what we did. And, you know, that, them goals allow us to do that. And I've just got to mention, obviously, Tyler and Rocky, like two two players who they, they're there to score goals. And you got to mention, especially the fourth, how, how good was that? Yeah, unbelievable finish, to be fair. Um, obviously, Rocky's as well. Rocky's good, good finish at the back post. Them ones that we, we've been missing a lot recently. Um, just being a bit more clinical, <laughs> being a bit more clinical. Um, and yeah, great finish from Ty. He's got that in the locker. Um, he's, he's a good finisher. You know, I think he'll be the first to admit that you know he wants to score the most goals here. Um, so we've got two strikers, three strikers, really in the squad that can score goals, and you know that's what we expect from them. Well, you can see in the background, lads are clearly in good spirits after that. Yeah, one. yeah. Um, just got to mention yourself. You've had a, done the last couple of games. You cut inside, had a shot. You had the shot at Hungerford last yeah. Year, shot today. Few you're getting, you're getting closer, <laughs> mate. Few P rollers going in. I think that Hungerford was on my right ear and it literally only just made the goal but almost went in um, and then today uh, it was a bit of a hit and hope to be honest with you I don't shoot enough so um, one thing my dad's been saying is you've got to shoot more so um, I got into a couple of positions today I thought I'd just unleash but so when are we going to get the uh, little goal graphic out how long is that going to take hopefully not long I'm waiting I've got it's got to be soon Gaffer's been on me saying he needs me to score so um, hopefully you know I, I can only do what I'm doing you know I make the back post as much as I can 
Um, if the ball falls to me, I try and score. If not, congrats on the three points, Cam. All the best. Cheers, Cam. Defender Connor Riley Lowe speaking there after Saturday's 4 1 victory over Chesham United here at Belifo Park. It was another good weekend for the reserves who picked up two wins in the space of four days. They started on Saturday of a 1 0 win over Perrinwell. Harry Phillips' goal midway through the first half gave the White Tigers all three points in the St Piran's League. Before Tuesday night, they headed off to Saltash in the St Piran League Cup. And Finn Harrison's strike early on gave them another victory. So a good few days for John Fabby's side. It wasn't to be a hat-trick of good results though for the White Tigers sides as the young under-18s team fell to a narrow 3-2 away defeat to Launceston in the DGM League on Sunday. More bad news for Truro though as the first team's home fixture here on Tuesday evening against Dorchester Town was forced to be postponed due to the ongoing fuel crisis and Dorchester unable to travel. Meaning the White Tigers' attentions now turn to Saturday as they head to Farnborough in the Southern League Premier South. Another long trip to Hampshire, one that I'm sure Paul Watt and his side are very much looking forward to. That's it for this week. Uh, we'll bring you all the goals and highlights from uh, the trip to Farnborough on Saturday. I've been Cameron Weldon and thanks for watching.